two, one. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ord, that's O-R-D, and I bring to you today, Monday, May 14th, Good as Gold, number 29. A special shout out to Zeke, our sponsor. Again, I am Ord. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all those beautiful places down below. But we have more important things to do, and they are enjoy a StarCraft game. So we have shut it down on the left. Ignore that silly overlay right now. It doesn't know what it's talking about. Silly XSplit. Uh, we have a VVV ambush player. I didn't really get a very good opportunity to discuss with him just what it means that he's on ambush. I, I kind of get the feeling that he's a... Uh, what's the word for it? He's a pro in a different game, or, or he's a developing pro or something like that. So uh, I'd love to catch up with him and inform everybody about that later. But right now, we're going to turn up the volume some and do our introductions. Interesting from our spectators, quiet you in the upper, no, this is lower, left-hand corner, we have the Blue Terran, shut it down. Again, special shout out to her, she is awesome and amazing. Uh, my friend on Twitter, uh, Jarira, J-A-R-I-R-A, I am O-R-D underscore S-E-2. I know I've said it like eight times, but, you know, feel free to go there. Follow me. It makes me feel awesome. And in the upper right-hand corner, getting on with the StarCraft, we have V-V-V's Ambush. So right now, we have a barracks going down for Mr. Ambush, a very similar occurrence happening for Shut It Down, and we also have very similar time scouting a little bit earlier for Ambush. Not that it's really going to matter unless, of course, Ambush decides to lay down a really early supply depot and just deny all information. But considering he didn't go refinery first or anything crazy, he has really no need to just yet. Shut it down, going in, getting basically perfect information. Sees that neither gas has been taken. Meanwhile, shut it down is attacking Ambush's SCV with no reservation, wants to kill it, and without any micro at all, we may see the first kill of the game! Oh, we do! Or do delay is better. Not yet a minute, but it's better. Thank you, Janine. Um... I'm glad at least we have a little bit of delay. Apparently there was uh, like a three second delay before, which is terrible. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Please keep chatter to our um, men. Bah! So, in the upper right hand corner we see an expansion coming down for VVV Ambush after an interesting placed supply depot and uh, this poor SCV for shut it down will be our second casualty. Oh, 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 it pokes up inside. We're going to follow him. How far is he going to get? He's only got three life. Literally, a strong breeze would kill him. He's going to stand right next to the SCV's VV ambush, and ambush allows it. We can see the orbital timing. It can see that no, neither gas has gone down yet, and now there's more micro occurring. Oh! And that's the end of his life. Interestingly, though, Shut It Down was completely aware that VV ambush was put VVV's ambush because bv is a team and ambush is his name so we're gonna call him ambush if i can remember that shut it down decides to more or less mimic what ambush is doing and is in fact ahead in the scv count we're gonna reopen that units tab and see that uh the supply difference is made up in scvs both players having three marines and shut it down being a little aggressive with two of hers not that it matters but pretty sure shut it down as a female, unless the pictures online are not really her, but I, I, I tend to be overly trusting, so I'm going to say that it's a her. Whatever. Moving on with the game. There's nothing else to talk about. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I have a girlfriend. I do, and she's awesome, and she's a platinum level StarCraft 2 player. Yes. Yes, I'm gold, and she's platinum. Uh-huh. And we have Marines getting the bunker. It was really surprising when I found that out. <laughs> Good stream so far. Thank you, Mr. Sontron. We have two refineries down for Ambush, who is just producing Marines, has not yet put down any kind of attachments. 
we have tech labs and a, nope nope just one tech lab and a single reactor going down and the third barracks just being completed both gases having been taken three in each gas no saturation at all at the expansion back to that production tab so everyone can keep track of the fact that we just finished our second orbital command a scan out of shut it down let's her know that ambush has not yet put down any attachments and now he throws one down after it's gone hopefully throwing down a few tech labs so that he can really get those stim packs and whatnot out no one reactor one tech lab uh, pretty typical three barracks build uh, these marines lives are probably in a lot of danger right now uh, they yeah 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 they could die very easily and double check that yeah our sound is good it's just loud in my ears hopefully it's not too loud on the stream please let me know if it is the third refinery being taken from shut it down who is going to be using that to possibly get the Maynard transfer going down we have the stim going down i'm expecting a tech lab to go down here and or a starport to go down a reactor let's see which way it goes we have the starport and we have a reactor we're going to reactor out some medevacs and we could see some drop aggression always a lot of fun DV's ambush seems to be delayed on his production cycles. He was producing the reactor so that he can catch back up in supply, but he has cut SCVs at a way too early of a time, which is unfortunate. However, stim pack research will be more or less identical, and the extra bunkers will allow ambush to catch back up before those medevacs get out and start doing interesting things in the back of the base. A really great spot for missile turret is this general area because in TVTs and well against Terran in general this is a juicy spot to land as is down here because as you can see ambush doesn't actually have vision of that very little lip there and you can actually fit uh, two hellions and the third one actually pops out and can be seen but at that point the third hellion there's only one more hellion to pop out and then you have a hellion drop and you're running and you're killing workers and it's oh so much fun if you're the aggressor not the person losing workers that's not fun at all stim is still almost done we have the plus one attack upgrade coming for shut it down and some marauders was that surreptitious enough surreptitious enough i was getting some water it's fantastic we have two engineering bays down for ambush i personally am a fan of lots of upgrades it makes each of your units more effective <clears throat> Shut it down is going with the more economical single engineering bay and looks like going for a drop eventually. I know we could follow. Let's just do that so it's easier on the eye. And we'll talk to you about this game. So we, we have combat shield coming, which actually is a fairly quick upgrade. And if these two dropships take a particularly circuitous route, it may be done by the time they get there, and it looks like that is the intent on the timing. And we see two little red dots coming down, ironically. Oh, wow, this is <laughs> this is interesting to see in a TVT. Hey, guys! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay, so let's see what happens. We have UV Ambush continuing on his path. We have Shut It Down continuing on her path. Maybe stopping. Looks like stopping. And let's see, are there any Marines being moved back? They are, yes, nice positioning there. Do we have, no, it looks like Ambush is unaware, unless he's just trying to bait it in, although I'm not sure why he would want that. The Medivacs for Shut It Down are hanging out, so we're going to come down here and watch. Ooh, good control out of Ambush there. Fantastic job. Not taking even a, <laughs> what the hell says Ambush, apparently he missed this. But we don't want to. We have one, two SCVs dying. Now all SCVs and Marines and Marauders are being pulled and thrown into the fight. The SCVs do not need to be there. Are a lot of workers dying that did not need to. This drop, no matter how many of these units die, is extremely effective as, wow, we only have three SCVs. Ooh, wow, did not need to lose that medevac. But only three workers left down there. Have any been pulled up top? There is nothing to protect. These could be dropped again and possibly take out the extra supply supply depot. A tank is down. Siege check is ready. These dropships are still ready to go back in. And they could. They, they could. Look, look. Shut it down. It's leaving. Oh, oh, he's going to that juicy spot. No, that, that one right there. And shut it down. Has a chance to see that right now. Unfortunately, everything is being unloaded. And Siege Tech is going to get taken out. Wow, that stim being very effective. 
And now, oh, just sacrificing Marines and Marauders, stimming only half the force, unfortunately. Now stimming again. Two medevacs that could have been targeted down. Really, this force needs to get out of here. It's done everything that it could hope for. Oh my goodness, it takes out the factory! And everybody dies. A suicide mission, but a last second, extremely effective one, as that means no siege tech for Shut It Down, who is up by 50 supply and who is upgrading. And oh my god, the healing medevacs are loud. Are they loud on stream? Someone please tell me, is that insanely loud on stream? Because it's really loud in my ears, I can barely handle it. Uh, Doreen says no, okay, alright, well, we're, we're running with it. Ambush is going to go ahead and set up his third, and actually because he's being bold enough to place it down at the expansion point, it really allows him to catch back up a lot because buildings fly slow. They're faster than overlords, which is amusing, but they're, they're still slow. Scan comes down of ambush. He gets to see that Shutdown is, in fact, producing a third command center. I really hope that Shutdown does something with this dropship. Right now would be a fantastic moment to come in and essentially supply block ambush for just a moment. A scan would allow him to know that. However, scan is also a great tip-off. If, you if, you're, if you're ever scanned, it's, it's a good idea to overreact. Go, go ahead and overreact and expect an attack to be incoming because it's normally what it means and, and or if someone's looking for information. about a potential attack to do later on, of course. Uh, how do I report results as Neurosis? Uh, upload. Upload replay on Zeke. And third command center is down. Has not begun upgrading. Does not have any SCVs being transferred to it just yet. Has some medevacs going up there, interestingly. And you see that the command center for ambush is down. And yeah. Pretty much. Basically, the third bases are evenly timed. Shut it down. Wow, being at 160 supply versus ambushes 106. A timing attack would be very effective right now. I'm not sure realizes is bringing two medevacs that are completely unloaded. And I don't like to see that. A 36 uh, health medevac completely loaded when you have another perfectly good medevac that's completely empty. Mm, too much queuing for ambush TT. Oh, is he queuing? No, that's shut it down. Oops. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I was queuing earlier on, and so he didn't have enough money to produce. You know. Okay. That's unfortunate, and he's about to pay for it. Let's watch. As the drop sneaks on in. Sneaks on in. And the workers get pulled. Actually, with really great timing, only two die there, if any at all. A stim force comes in, and wow, if these medevacs were here, this force would not have died so quickly. However, with the Marines not fighting in the back, shut it down. Got her drop shut down. And oh, was going to lose the medevac. Oh, so close. Hopefully these medevacs return home. Medevacs are an extremely good unit. And now we see the rest of the force from shut it down moving out going to kill the third, which hopefully becomes a planetary fortress ASAP. We have some Vikings out on the field to counteract uh, any medevac play, I'm assuming. We have these Marines who are returning after having spotted the attack en route, and now... Nope, they're just going to be allowed to wander on by. We will double check that, in fact, Siege Mode has not yet completed for Shut It Down. Most likely she will wait for that before she moves forward. There's the planetary fortress on the way. Uh, again, Ambush having Siege Mode. Really, even though there is a 40 supply difference, this fight could go either way, especially if Shut It Down brings it towards the planetary fortress and there are, are any SCVs at all to repair. Uh, what's nerve-wracking, though, for Ambush is that the army is down here, and in fact, ooh, some of it is moving around, sacrificing a few Marines, didn't need them anyway. Now coming back up top, it's a very precarious position, and I really like that Shut It Down is forcing Ambush to decide, and is in fact sieging up there, finally, good idea, mm, Missile Turrets, it's a fine idea to try and contain and to set up a fourth right now when you're ahead, get more ahead, however, with the 50 supply lead, continuing to wait actually gives your opponent an opportunity to get back into the game. Some dropships here that would probably be doing a better job over here. Reinforcements on the way when these arrive. I'm hoping to see an attack. I'm really uh, expecting to see it. A nice little idea out of VVV ambush. VVV's ambush looks like they're going to be dropped right on top of the 18 basically 18 SCVs that are mining out of one patch. We're going to call it oversaturation, but not particularly surprised. Ooh, with the multitasking ambush may in fact force shut it down to pull back if 
she stays here too long. This could be quite dangerous. This could be... And we saw Ambush with a scan there.